Hey everybody, Douglas here from RevRides, and today we're going to be showing you how to change the motor controller on your VSET 10 Plus. Let's get to it. For this repair, you will need a size 8mm ratchet or wrench. You also need a small handful of zip ties to replace the ones we're going to cut off. You'll need a pair of snips to clip those zip ties, a size three millimeter Allen key to remove your deck, and a screwdriver to remove the casing on your motor controller plugs. First step to replacing the controller on our VSET 10 Plus will be removing the deck. When removing the screws from the deck, do not use power tools as you may strip the heads. Now that we've removed all the screws in the deck, let's remove it and unplug our charge ports. Now go ahead and remove any foam that's covering wires in your scooter. Now grab your snips and cut all the zip ties that are holding the wires together. When clipping your zip ties, be sure not to clip any that are connecting from your lights to your light module. The zip ties on these four plugs are the only ones we need to snip from the light module. The rest over here are all connected to the lights. Go ahead and unplug those after snipping the zip ties and set them aside. Now that the light module is out of the way, go ahead and pull up your power connectors and unplug both of them. You can also wrap these with electrical tape if you're worried about any metal possibly getting inside these connectors. Now go ahead and unplug your 10 plus DDM switch plug. Then we can pull out our motor wire connectors and get those undone as well. Since we're removing the controller, go ahead and pull it out now to make this an easier process. Clip the zip tie on the hall sensor and unplug your hall sensor. And do the same on the other motor wire. Find your hall sensor, clip the zip tie, and unplug it. To unplug your motor wires, now you will need a screwdriver and your eight millimeter ratchet or wrench. Now we can remove the top casing on our phase wire connectors. Before unplugging these, be sure to get pictures so you know which connectors are for the front and which are for the rear. Blue to blue, green to green, yellow to yellow. And that is the same for both front and rear.
Now we can remove our controller. Be sure to add this onto your new controller. This helps keep it cool as you're riding and disperse the heat. Now taking your new controller, place it into the scooter. Making sure not to pinch any wires on the way down. Now we will do the reverse process of plugging everything back in, starting with our motor wires and going on from there. Start by putting our motor connectors back on. The shorter motor connectors on the controller go to your rear motor and the longer ones go to your front motor. Find our connectors. Yellow on yellow, blue on blue, green on green. When tightening these, make sure they are very tight so that way they do not come loose while riding and cause a short. Don't forget your cover. Grab your zip ties to replace the ones we cut off earlier. When you finish connecting your motor wires, tuck them away so we can start putting all of our wires back in place. Start putting together your next set of motor wires. Now that this motor wire is connected again, let's go ahead and tuck it away.
Next, plug in your 10 plus DDM switch. This is also your LCD plug and any other accessories you have up top. Next, grab your light module, tuck the spare wires away, and then we're gonna plug these back in. Next, plug back in your blinker wire. It is helpful to have had marked one left and one right. Now plug in your controller, tuck the wires away, you may hear a pop, that is normal. And now before we put our foam back and get the scooter put back together, let's go ahead and make sure that our motors work, our lights work, and our blinkers work. Now that our scooter is working and everything is plugged back in, let's go ahead and cover the wires back up with foam. Next, you grab the deck of your scooter. Go ahead and place this on. First, place it on its side, using the side of the scooter as a rail to hold it. Plug the connectors back in. Careful not to tug on the wires, as you could pull them out if pulled too hard. Now, we're gonna lay the deck on its front side, like so. With the deck on its nose, be sure that your charge port connectors are fully plugged in. Push the deck down slowly as to not pinch these wires. You can use your hand as a guide to help. Now let's go ahead and tighten down the deck screws using the three millimeter hex key. And when doing this, be sure not to tighten too tight as you could crack the plastic or strip the head of the screw. Now you can replace your VSET 10 Plus controller on your own and get out there and ride. Be sure to like and subscribe for more riding and repair videos and be sure to come ride with us.